so I just wanted to make a real quick video um, because as I was going through pictures, I thought about it. And um, I, I wanted to, I included a picture of this guy that passed away. His name was Willie Terry. Um, I believe that's what his name was, but most people knew him as the package man, uh, the bicycle shorts man, uh, stuff pants man. There were like a whole bunch of names for this guy. And he was very much a part of how surreal Atlanta was. He was like a, he was almost like a, a statue, like an institution um, in a certain part of Atlanta. So if you lived on, you know, if you lived kind of in that uh, Emory, Morningside, um, Ponce de Leon, Midtown, Virginia Highlands area, you probably saw this guy before. And I think the first time that I saw him, uh, I was in maybe like, I want to say I was in high school. Uh, I may have been younger than that, uh, but he always stood on... Um, <laughs> He always stood on Briarcliff at the bus stop before uh, Briarcliff crossed Ponce. And that's what, that's where I always saw him. But he would stand there and he would just, it, he would stand at the bus stop, seemingly waited on a bus. Um, I don't think he ever got on a bus. I don't know. I can't speak on it. Um, but yeah, this he would just stand there. And I remember the first time that I saw him, my mom was driving and so we're driving and we see I see this guy and he's standing over the bus stop and I look over and he it literally looked like he had an orange in his pants but he, he wasn't wearing pants he's wearing bicycle shorts like tight bicycle shorts and my mom looked over and my mom was, was so embarrassed. She was, she, <laughs> she, in no disrespect to him, she was embarrassed because she was like, what, like, why is this guy out here in these bicycle shorts? Like, what's, what's the point? And so you would see him every once in a while and he would just be standing there. Uh, I will say, I don't think he ever bought any, anybody. Uh, I saw a video, a Facebook video, and it may be on YouTube where they kind of talked about him. I was there, like he he was always there. And I heard stories about people seeing him when they were in like elementary school. So it, it's no it's it's no telling how long he was out there. Um, I don't know if anybody knew where he lived. Uh, I know that there was a senior citizen home not too far from there on Ponce, but I don't know if he lived there, but he was just the guy who stood out there, um, the package man, as they called him, and they, they were the package. He stood out there. He never delivered the package that I saw, but he, he stood out there, and he just, he waited. I don't know what he was waiting for. Um, I hope that whatever he was doing, I, I hope that he was just being himself, um, Again, I didn't see him ever bother anybody. I didn't see anybody ever bother him. He just stood out there, he did his thing. And then, you know, he, he lived a, a, a long life and I hope he lived what was a good life. But yeah, that was, I, I thought about that randomly because I was going through pictures to for editing my last video. And I thought I'd make like a short video about this, but yeah, that was the, the package man. And you know, it was what it was. It was, it was one of those things. All right, bye.